Hello Warlock Tubers again, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Warlock Master of the Arcane with me, Blue Ankylo. So I've decided to give it another shot. I had a lot of fun on my uh, first Let's Play of this game, and I want to do another one. I still have not played as the Monster Faction, so I want to give them a try. Uh, as you can probably tell, I've updated it. I didn't want to do that. There's been a couple patches, I think, that have come out while I was doing the other Let's Play, but I didn't want to... Uh, risk missing save files and stuff up. I don't know, it's probably supposed to work, but I figured it's better to just wait. Anyway. Uh, new game. So this time, let's see, I want to try to make it a little bit different than the last one. Um, as much as I can anyway, so I've been sort of looking at these. From what I've heard, or read anyway, is the AI is not particularly great on the island maps. Um, and we were playing on continents last time, so I'm actually thinking of just going to either super continent, which I believe just has one giant continent surrounded by water, or great land, which has no water. Mm, and I'm actually not a huge fan of water myself, seeing as there's nothing you can do with it really, so I might just go great land, so that's cool. I'm going to leave the world size the same. I think I played a little test world on normal before, and it just seemed teeny in comparison. And then extra large or huge just takes too long for a let's play as far as I'm concerned. We're still going to have the maximum number of rival mages and extra worlds because, well, I'd like to explore some more of them. There's some cool stuff and we'll see how it goes. And then we can either do Syndrilical again, which wraps around horizontally, or Flat World, which does nothing. It's just like a flat world. Uh, flat. I guess that's not the best. It's like a rectangle. Uh, there's no traveling around the edges. Uh, let's go with Syndrilical again. I think that makes more sense. I'd rather it um, looped vertically as well, but whatever. Let's pick our character. And I think this time I'm going to play, like I said, as a monster faction again. So our choices are essentially, uh, if you want to look kind of like... You could play as a monster faction with this guy again or whatever. But uh, we have a rat dude, a Egyptian dude, oh, that silly orc. A dragon. We might have to play as the dragon. Or a fish dude. So yeah, the dragon this looks the coolest to me. Uh, but we'll definitely customize them. And even though dragons like red, well, we played as blue last time. Maybe we can play as kind of teal. It's still blueish. Uh, it's not the perfect blue and kilo color, but slightly different. Uh, now we're going to want to repick our stuff, like usual. And uh, actually, you know, I had a great idea. Let's go with Tendril, Son of Blue Ankylo. Oh, Tendril, Tendril, Son of Blue. That, uh, we could go with that. Um, nah, well, sure, that's good enough. I don't want to worry about it. <laughs> um, I think we're going to pick a different god this time. Uh, last time we had Lenord, of course, and this time I think I want to try Helia out. Um, Agrila seems to be pretty human oriented. Uh, Krypta is very undead oriented. I'm not sure. Grumgog's probably another monster one. Fervus is probably monsters mostly. Uh, Krolm and Doros might be uh, human kind of oriented. I'm not sure. Whatever. I it, I just sort of gonna randomly pick Helia because it sounds cool. Um, you know, something like that. Now, last time obviously I picked Archmage, which I still think is probably the best perk, just for that extra casting speed, but I'll, I'll try to pick something different. So we've got, um, actually what might be good is food, because monsters use a lot of food, or gold production, seeing as we're always short on gold. Now, I'll just go with, f do I want to do farm? I don't know. Hmm. I will take money, because... Now nah, go with food. Food food for monsters seems to work together. And we actually have one spare point because of that, so we could either start with some more money or a small spell. Uh, but they generally research pretty quick anyway, so money for an extra unit or something. That'll have to do. So let's get to it. Um, I won't be spending as much time uh, explaining stuff this time around, obviously. I figure if you watch my first one, I can sort of fumble around explaining how some of the stuff works. For this game, I will just sort of try to get to the, the fun of it a little bit quicker. So we're in a nice empty space. I would say this looks like a better starting position than the last place, especially. 
uh, although there's some swamp that will slow us down, obviously. But um, let's see, uh, how does our town look first? Lost Agri Last Wolf. Right off the bat, we're going to change that to Blue Cap. Blue Tropolis is probably good enough. Just before I start forgetting and getting way behind on my names. Now, how do we want to build this? There's no special resources anywhere near this town. So I might just have it... Um, I'm not sure exactly my plan here. <laughs> mm, probably a good idea to start getting more units. Yeah. So that's our major recruiting one, so we'll get that. We've got a Goblin's Guild for basic units, and then a Ratman Guild should get us some more, maybe. Pirates and stuff, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And Spell, of course. Now, uh, because we're not going to go... Oh, I forgot to mention that. Uh, last time I played mostly using undead units. This time I'm going to stick to my goblin, or not goblin, my monster units. Probably even more so. So if we find a random unit that's obviously an undead, like say a lich joins us, we're just going to insta-disband him. Uh, now I'm not sure exactly where you want to draw the lines on some semi-monster sort of human-y stuff. Like I don't know what you want to consider elves and dwarves necessarily. But we'll definitely use minotaurs and stuff like that, and definitely not use um, like paladins or halberdiers, that kind of stuff that really look human. Uh, so stuff like this reconstruction spell is probably not useful at all. Um, let's see. So uh, do we want a bane, a blessing, or a damage spell? Well, you know me. Most of the time, I just stick with being able to deal damage. So that sounds like a good way to start. And we can recruit stuff. It's probably a good idea to recruit some units right off the bat. Now, um, goblins or rat men robbers here. These are my sort of scout units, I guess. They're pretty quick. And they're not particularly strong. And what else did I get? Archers. Yeah. You remember the, the, uh, the base... Um, Undead units had like missile resistance, quite a lot actually. These guys do not, they just have a little bit of melee instead resistance. So just sort of a different starting. Uh, that means my melee guys will actually be a little bit stronger. Um, spearmen probably, because when they're fighting in melee they won't take as much damage. Although they'll be weak to arrows of course. So let's get some exploring on. Um, so these actually count as beasts, which means they can pass dense faster, which kind of counts for the stuff down here. So they're going to, oh look, we're right by the edge again. So anyway, they're going to explore, mm, I don't know, let's go that way. We'll go one that way, and one up this way. And we will, oh, crap. I should have moved once, one hex at a time. I may have just totally messed up my start. Sunstroke. Oh, that looks cool too. Why do I need, actually... 24 mana, most of a turn to do... Oh, we can't cast it anyway. Yes, we can. Never mind. Who knows what I'm talking about. Point is, it's probably better than that. Marginally better. Let's just research something else then. Well, goodbye archers. This probably was a bad start for you. Um, did they live at least? Okay, I think they lived at least. But Ooh, and then we have uh, a neutral town or something must be up there. Um, that's interesting. A little bit dangerous. Um, how do I want to play this? Kill those guys first. Let's try to back up a little bit. Kill those guys. Uh, I might have sent my guys out a little bit quick. I definitely want to get exploring. but uh, And last time we managed to uh, explore without dying horribly. But uh, maybe this time it's not the safest. Uh, not anywhere near enough mana to cast any spells. <laughs> I just didn't want to let those guys go kill my archers, specifically, was why I attacked them. I'll probably show some more animations here. I don't want to totally cut everything up. Come on, archers. Good luck. Good luck. They survive. Hooray. The cockroaches didn't defeat them yet. And I got my uh, spearmen. So, and I can recruit settlers, so that's good. I probably will fairly quickly. Because I'll want to start gathering up resources. Spears ready. My spearmen are going to immediately destroy their spearmen. Can't even really see them underneath all the buildings there. But looks like they did okay. 
rest up a bit because I just can't afford to lose units at this point. And uh, you're going to hide out. And uh, oh yeah, that's one thing that did change in the upgrade. Uh, cities are stronger. I can shoot way over there, and it's like probably going to do better. Oh wow. Okay, awesome. Uh, one thing though, I better remember if I come across an enemy warlock, they're going to be more dangerous too for stuff like that. So anyway, that's cool. Look at the look of that. We'll see how it how it affects our game. All right, so everyone's healing up, healing up. Oh, I forgot to recruit a unit. Oh well. Oh, nice. We have gathered up seasoned goblin spearmen, which are even stronger. There are second tier units. Uh, I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, and we've learned lightning bolts. <laughs> nice. Well, that's a good start. Uh, that was really good, actually. Wow. We're a little bit low on food, so we're going to have to build uh, something. Something tasty, like a farm, or maybe a pub would be smarter. Uh, Alright, that's kind of interesting. We can recruit robbers now. Uh, which, look, all those are our scouts. So we've got scouts, archers, spearmen for melee, rats. I don't know what they count as. Cheap really cheap. Ten gold cheap. And settlers. We want some settlers to start. Probably a couple settlers. Uh, and I want archers to heal up first. And these guys can start exploring in this direction. Although they need to heal. But seeing as they're in their uh, influence and we're not undead, we should heal. Someone told me that. So I'm going to test it out. You sh don't need to rest if you're living units. Look at that. Free healing. Not a whole lot, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Ah, here we go. Hmm. Blessing of the sun increases our food production. Now that sounds good for us. In fact, I'm going to try to get it right now. Because that looks like a good uh, monster-y, uh, especially while we're low on food, spell. Ooh, time to move. <laughs> oh, time to move. Time to move. Uh, so now we've got some awesome units. These guys are going to be crazy powerful for this point in the game. Uh, so they're just going to go kill everything, I think. Uh, except maybe the imps. They might not be so good against the imps. I'm not sure. <laughs> just going to be a little bit more cautious exploring. Oh look, we found... Uh, yeah, that would have been where that one unit came from, of course. That makes sense. I should have known that already. Uh... Oh, oh, I still have, still have time to attack. I thought I walked too far. And strong rats. Well, at least they're giving us monster units. If I were to stick to what I had said earlier, and they gave us, like, liches, I would have had to get rid of them. So, at least they're giving us the right kind of units. And we're getting a lot of units, which is kind of cool, actually. Although there's a lot of, uh, a lot of neutral towns surrounding us, I guess. That's probably good. We have some some action early on in the game by the looks of things. So let's just keep rolling. This is going incredibly much request, much, much faster than the last game. <laughs> no surprise, really. Uh, I don't want to lose those guys, but I want them out there working hard. Kill some wild rat men, and we get some gold. They're right there. I can handle it. Spearmen to work. Well, that was pretty easy. Wild rat men are not very strong. Now, where should we put our first town? Is the question. Uh, I'm just going to rest those guys up, actually. There's no immediate dangers, so. I've got a lot of units. We've got a lot more units than I was sort of planning on having. Ooh, some spiders. Try not to let them eat our rats, because I'm sure the monster eating spiders would love to eat some monster rats. <laughs> uh, okay. Where shall we expand? Uh, there's silver. Silver over there. Gold is good. Maybe we'll head this way first for the gold. So we'll I just move. Now one thing that I'm going to try to think of is that this city is going to have way larger an area than it can actually build enough buildings for. Like, 
seems to me most cities get to like size 14 or 15 and then they kind of slow down their growth so much that uh, they're not going to grow much. And if you actually have three hex um, hexagon, there's going to be a lot more than 16 buildings here or something like that. So I'll just have a bunch of not used space. So I actually want to try to build like maybe right here and then that way it will prevent this expansion from sort of if you understand what I'm getting at. <laughs> if it doesn't make any sense, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just yes. sort of plotting. Uh, do I want to build anything else? I would need to get over my food limit because uh, we're starving and growing slowly, which is not going to help us. So maybe actually, hmm, you know what? I'm sorry rats. Uh, I just, you're the weakest link and we need to grow faster, so. Yeah, sorry buddies, had to do it. Um, wouldn't have even worked with the gnome settlers, although they might have started a city. I don't know if that would have netted us some more food. We'll see. I just, you know, if you saw that there, um, we were losing like 20 or 30 growth a day because of too many units. So, although we got all these nice uh, uh, free units early on, don't want to really cripple ourselves. Uh, Alright, so let's see how this goes. There's a level 4 town over here, so I want to be careful, but I would like to kill those archers before they get out. Now, hopefully that wasn't a horrible mistake. Um, if those all decide to kill my robbers, they'll feel a little bit bad. I forgot they were robbers. They're not very strong. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, right, this side... It's much more secure because of these guys. And I'll send... Oh, you know we spared, yes? oh, I'll let these guys heal, of course. You know a nice place for but a we will build a town there, and that'll get us some research, which is really good. Because, hey, we like our research. Maybe just in case veterans... Actually, they're a little bit dangerous, too. They're the advanced human ones, not the tier one. So, you know what? Let's just... Uh, just in case they think of trying to attack our robbers, we'll give them a little sunstroke or whatever that's called. <laughs> Alright. Oh dear. Okay. Definitely have to be careful around towns. I think they're stronger now. Alright. So we've we got found a new city. Fang Claw will be Blue Claw. Blue Claw. Sounds good. And, uh, well... Not perfect start, not perfect, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Um, we are here. Oh, I wish I had one more movement point. They're gonna attack. <laughs> oh, you know we uh, I'm not sure. What should I do? What should I do? Hmm. Well, there's another town up there. There's towns everywhere. I'm gonna try to kill those spiders. I guess my main thing will just be settle as much as I can because there's lots of room. I want to put a town, one, two, three, sort of probably right there to get some gold. I want to put a town right there to get some silver. I want to put a town over here, town sort of here, and maybe a town up here too. And then because the enemy towns seem to be perhaps a little bit more dangerous, um, that's I'll try to build up before I take any over. Last time we got into some wars pretty quick, I think. So I think I will build the close ones first. So one, two, three here. And that way if this, well it's not going to expand that fast anyway, but remember what I was saying earlier when I was trying to explain it, if you figured out what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, I just don't want my capital city getting so many squares of land or hexes of land that, uh, uh oh took a little bit of damage, but we were survived. Good job, seasoned goblin spearmen. You got us some mana. Alright, and we got some hills and stuff. Lots of land, lots of room to expand, that is for sure right now. Now... Next turn, I'll move up there. I just want them all ready to go. I've, <laughs> I've kind of lost a couple units that I didn't mean to lose, so I have to be a little bit more cautious. Uh, 
was, we're doing good. 20 minutes in. Uh, I'll do a few more turns. Should be okay. And then some enemy warlock's going to show up and have like hundreds of units already or something. I'll have totally unanticipated. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's a whole lot to the west. So we'll be able to get that gold and relative security, which is nice. Yes. Uh, we've got town number three. We'll be there. Town number four. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it can go right there, I think. Or maybe there for the silver. I'm not sure. See how I feel next turn. And now let's see if we can take out some spiders. All right. Go, go, archers. Ten damage. Not bad, not bad. Mostly killed them. And finish them. Mm, not the best trade-off, but they won. And we got some gold for it. So that's nice. I think we will take... Hmm, melee resistance. That gives them pretty solid melee defense. Not bad. We'll see how that works. I probably should put a town up by the water so I can build at least one harbor. That way we're allowed to cross the water. So that might be a good idea. Um, okay, as soon as I have that spell, I'll probably want to try to cast it. That'll keep my food in order. <laughs> so let's keep going. It's amazing how fast these turns go on early game. I kind of forgot. Just the new spell research is complete. Excellent. Thank you, narrator. Uh, forgot just how fast these can go. More imps. Well, don't mind getting some imps. So, Blessing of the Sun will give us plus 60% food production for one mana, which looks like an awesome deal. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, nothing bad about that at all. 45 mana, we can afford to cast that a couple times on probably most of our towns. Sweet. Uh, right, so there's going to be a new town. Ta-cha! Big Den. Kind of cool. City. Let's go uh, Big Blue Den. Slightly cooler, in my opinion. You can see our still bluish color, so that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with teal or whatever fancy name you want to call, call that. Uh, some healing. I suppose, technically speaking, we'll probably fight this town first. Uh, why, you ask? Because I'm hoping it's like a level 1 town. Rather, this one's already a level 4, so it should be a little bit easier. That's, that's, my, uh, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. Now, do I want to build the town as close as I can for optimal buildings, or do I want to build it close to the silver for perkity perks early? There will be silver there. If I build one, two, three, four up there, then there will be one, two, three. Yeah, I'll build one right where my goblin archers are, and that will give me my silver easy enough. A new city has been founded, my lord. I will keep continue to settle and settle and settle. It is a little bit dangerous, I am certainly aware, but when I play Forex games, I like to riskily expand early on, and, uh, you know, it's, it's it's a little dangerous. I should probably have some more units. I should definitely have some more units. Who am I kidding? Um, <laughs> I've got, like, three units right now. Uh, let's see, some other good spells. What's this? Rune of Protection. I have no idea. It's, uh, is that Doros or something? I'm starting to learn them a little bit. Chrome, I guess. Chrome. So I was wrong. <laughs> uh, he has these weird rune things, I guess. And uh, I don't know. Not too worried about that. So probably not going to learn that one just right now. Maybe it's an awesome spell. Uh, I guess if it's awesome, post it in the comments. But uh, for now, let's go with maybe a little bit of healing. That's probably a little bit better spell for us. Mm, anything else? No? 24? I, I kind of decided to... Uh, Basically, I'll just go with 30-minute episodes. I always seem to run into the 30-minute timer on my first series. So this time, I'll just give in. I'll just say that's good. <laughs> uh, we can build something. Good. Continue building. So, let's see. It's going to get... Wait a sec. I can cast my spell, too. Well, of course, I'm going to cast it on my capital city first. And that should improve our food quite a lot, actually. Plus 60%, that's awesome. Very nice, very nice. So, um, that makes farms even better. Um, gold is looking okay, food is looking awesome. Mana is a little bit low, so we'll try to get to that before too long. Um, let's see. 
I would like... Now, the smithy might not be a bad idea, because for now, this town is going to be my um, unit recruiting town. So giving them free fine armor, probably a good idea. Uh, and I don't see anything else that gives me units. Oh, trolls. Wait a second. Trolls bridge gives us trolls. Oh, boy. We also need... Oh, alchemy for shamans. I guess I should have looked at this earlier, just sort of how the tech tree works. I will need various buildings, all kinds of different buildings, so... Okay. If we build mana stuff, we'll get shamans eventually, which I think are healers. Uh, and if we build taxes, we'll get trolls. That's not bad. I could do with some trolls. For now, though, I will go with the smithy, just so that when I recruit some of the other cheap units, I'll get free... Um, free armor. So, that's my idea. And more settlers. Now, I think I said I wanted to get that silver there, although I could go this way first. Um, I could make it very symmetrical. Should I make it symmetrical? Let's make it symmetrical, guys. Symmetry at its finest. Yeah. And let's cast more Blessing of the Sun. Uh, I guess I could determine maybe one of these towns will be food production primarily. Uh, I don't see any specifically good uh, resources for food, but uh, we can build lots of farms and stuff and it should be okay. Ready to shoot something. You will be able to shoot something soon, don't worry. Uh, there's Lost Caravan and some serpents. Lots of stuff to loot. I'll take it. Uh, those guys were easy. I like the uh, default speed of four on a lot of units. Uh, that's I really like that actually, if I uh, didn't mention that before. Um, most of the undead units it seems started at three, so being able to move a little bit faster is pretty good. Uh, pretty happy. Uh, ooh! Oh dear. Uh, that That's horrible. <laughs> uh, crap. We might lose our goblin spearmen to the imps, because I'm an idiot. Let's see what happens. Well, that's not going to hurt us. Now, it seems like the imps are even dumber than us. Oh, there's more. Okay, time to beat a hasty retreat, I think. We'll explore to the west later, but apparently it's imp land. It's kind of like that area to the east. I guess this is west if I said the wrong one. But to the east of our first town in, uh, in our last Let's Play, it seemed like there was always imps coming to harass us. So we found another imp land. <laughs> oh boy. Everyone loves imps. Uh, so now we can cast our spell again, which is cool. Which is it's good, actually. I like it. Let's put it on this town, yeah. So it can be extra food. It's not going to make a huge difference right now, but we'll build farms and it'll make more sense. I might actually do one more because we're food oriented. Uh, why not? We'll do one more food spell, maybe put it on you this town or something. Or no, this one's going to have magic, so that'll be magic. Maybe this one will have some food again, or who knows. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, so, let's see, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Um, I'm thinking... I, it's kind of interesting we haven't run into an enemy mage. There is supposed to be as many as possible. We just haven't found any yet, so that's kind of cool. Uh, how do I get out of this again? X. X. So, uh, anyway, I think this is the last turn for this episode. A, a nice start, 13, uh, 13 turns. Um, we're recruiting like crazy. Uh, we're going to have a town there, a town there, and at least one more to claim that gold. And then I'll start building some more units, I think. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to fit any more in too close, just easily. So uh, we should be good. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy my next series. Uh, one thing I'm going to make a little different than this last time, uh, my last series, is I sort of ended up playing way far ahead of how fast I had uploaded them. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, react to people's comments or suggestions in-game, really. So I'm going to try uh, a little bit different style this time. So I'm just going to play one or two episodes a day myself. 
sort of spread it out a little bit. It'll cause me to forget stuff a little bit. But that way, when you see the episode on when I upload it, uh, there's more of a chance that if you actually say something like, hey, you should go kill those imps, or hey, um, don't forget about that silver you said, uh, I'll actually be able to uh, do something about it rather than say, oh yeah, well, I'll just wait five episodes. <laughs> So yeah, that's all. That's my little notice notification. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day. Blue Ankylo out.